The electrodiagnostic test procedures can be organized in two different ways. One method is by using the so-called test folders. Here we are looking at a test folder containing nerve conduction studies. Within this folder, we have the motor nerve conduction, F-wave, sensory NCS, etc. We have another test folder that gives us access to needle EMG type studies. And a third test folder that gives us some of the advanced testing capability or uncommon procedures. The operator can decide which test to perform and select it from the test folder. So for example, if one wanted to do a median motor nerve conduction study, it can be found in the nerve conduction studies folder in motor nerve conduction study. So I will double click on it, then choose the median nerve, choose the tested side, click on OK and perform the test procedure. Having recorded the signals, one can exit the test, return to the main menu, and choose another test as appropriate from the same folder or from some another folder. The other method is by using the so-called studies, and we can display the studies menu by clicking on this button. Right now we have described five different studies, upper limb, lower limb, carpal tunnel syndrome, radial nerve palsy, and cervical radiculopathy. A study contains a group of examinations that are customized for a specific referring condition, for example, carpal tunnel syndrome, radial nerve palsy, or they can be customized to reflect the preferences of individual users. So instead of calling upper limb, the, fold, or the study folder could be called Dr. Johnson studies and so on. The studies contain electrodiagnostic procedures that are highly customized. For example, if we look at the first entry under upper limb, it indicates it's a motor nerve conduction study on the left side and for the median nerve. And the next examination is an F wave study on the median nerve and on the left side. I will demonstrate the use of studies using the upper limb protocol. This has been defined to test the left side. If we wanted to test the right side, click on the icon at the top. And now all the sides have been changed to the right. And if I click here again, the sides will revert to left. Let's begin testing. We will begin by performing a motor nerve conduction study in the median nerve. As soon as I double clicked on that entry, I was immediately in that test. I did not have to select the side. I did not have to select the nerve. So by reducing the number of clicks or selections, the number of errors can be reduced. Let us perform the recording. We have a nice response over here. I will save this. I will advance to the next site. Stimulate proximally. Input the distance. And I have my conduction velocity. I have finished my median motor nerve conduction study. I can advance to the next examination by pushing the white circle key on the console or I can click on the screen in the bottom right corner. The current test is saved automatically and the F wave study of the left median nerve is launched. Once again note that the selection of the next test was very easy to make and I did not have to click multiple times to select the nerve or the side, again reducing the number of errors. We will now perform the F-wave study. The F-waves are marked automatically. I can go to the next exam in this study.
and this is going to select the ulnar motor nerve conduction study. If I don't wish to perform the ulnar nerve conduction study, I can skip it very easily by once again clicking on the next study exam. And I will skip the ulnar F wave and I can perform the median sensory exam which was part of this study group. Sometimes one may have to change their test plan based on the findings of the electrodiagnostic study. This is done quite easily by exiting the test and selecting procedures defined in another study menu or by going to the test folder. So to summarize, one can access any nerve conduction study in a very flexible random manner by using the test folder or one can access them by using the studies. The studies offer the benefit of having a quick access to the desired tests and secondly the study always contains all the necessary tests for making a specific diagnosis such as carpal tunnel. So this ensures that all the necessary testing is adequately performed.